This episode of Stuck in Vermont is brought to you by Burlington College. I'm going to be doing my catwalk. <laughs> Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We're here at Higher Ground in South Burlington, Vermont, for the one fashion event put on by the Boys and Girls Club of Burlington. They're raising a lot of money for the Boys and Girls Club. So we talked to some of their members about what it means being in this fashion show. It's a chance, a really cool chance to do stuff like that. Walking We're walking down, down at the end. I like the sassy walk. I'm scared personally. Nervous? But now I'm really nervous. Because there's a lot of people watching us and I'm just really scared. And it's a life lesson, you know? If you're uncomfortable, you gotta go through life try to fill your way out and, and work through it. Once they see the kids start coming out, you know, the donations seem to start coming in. <laughs> $50,000? Roger? Oh no, sorry, sorry, $1,000. I don't want to be so sad, just want to lay around in bed. at the Boys and Girls Club is that it takes one person to make the difference in a life of a child. So tonight is the third annual One Fashion event. We are now um, sold out. We've moved into the big room. We have 30 plus models. We have 15 plus stores and designers. And it's not a serious modeling show, so I think that makes it even more fun. Wiggle and Wiggle. turn and wink. Uh, a lot of good smiles, some hopefully a lot of fun entertainment. You'll see everything from the trendy stores downtown and in all over Chittenden County to um, some really funky designers that are based in Vermont. I kind of feel like Alice in Wonderland. I know. Look at her. Will you check her out? Look at her. Help get the name out of the Boys and Girls Club. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars. We're raising close to $25,000 a year for the Boys and Girls Club. We made the clothes. 15 plus kids who are now sewing on their own, are interested in designing clothing. And it's a great, great experience for the kids. They're recycling clothing, they're reconstructing, deconstructing clothing. Like, it's really cool to make your own clothes. It was fun. It's also a chance for emerging artists or designers to show their wear. I'm wearing Echo. I'm MBK, and she's a designer, Mary Beth. Monel, which is on Church Street. This is my church. The scene is awesome. Yep, there's a lot of recycling here in some of the designs. Wearing an 18th century corset made out of the New York Times. So, Boys and Girls Club is yes. cool. Well, Boys and Girls Club is an after school program that we cater kids uh, from fourth grade all the way up into 12th grade. We serve almost 2,500 2, kids each year. Kids um, that are typically coming from uh, disadvantaged backgrounds, um, kids that really need a safe environment after school. And they have a rapping studio. Cyber cafe. And a pool. Mm -hmm. Kayak, canoes. Back room full of Mac computers. And in the summer we go like to in the, the pool. Um, like, we go in the pool. kayaking, like snowboarding. Yeah. I like to go in the gym and go on the computers. Uh, we do everything from homework help to athletics to music, uh, and we also do some uh, conflict resolution. We, oh, we hang out. We hang out. Um, with we our go friends. in the game room or the resource play. room. College preparedness, job skills, on on the job training. We we can do our homework. We do a whole bunch of stuff there. A safe environment with great role models. So. This is Sarah. She, she does knitting with us. She's a yeah. short Yeah, person. we knit. Uh, being able to resolve problems with friends, uh, resist from peer pressure, drug and alcohol, and then also learning certain skills through athletics, whether shooting a ball, throwing a ball, and just getting along with other people that are not from the same culture. You know, 2,500 kids in a small community like Chittenden County is pretty, pretty important. If our doors weren't open, these kids wouldn't have anywhere else to go. I mean, we're there to keep the kids off the streets, you know, and also try to teach them something. Uh, you know, we want every kid to come in and be safe and have fun, but at the same time, we also want to make sure that they're, they're walking away with some valuable lessons in life. I like sunsets, but I don't wanna go outside. And I hate you get see, to me you have already died. 
Whoa, did you see that? The Obamas were here. Wow, we'll get stuck out here again real soon. Yeah, in the beginning we were yeah, nervous, it was but so when, fun. We, when we actually went to, wow, when we actually so got good. on, we felt that was more like, fun. I'm trying to talk. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous. Once you got out there, how did it feel? Glad and excited. and literature major and I go to Burlington College. It's a really small school, has great personal relationships with the teachers and you can really be an individual here. I love it. It's the tree of learning. Yeah. <laughs>